So Humphrey's already working on this box. Um, basically, I took a box out of our recycle, which is one of my favorite things to do for him, is just gather a bunch of recyclables and make them into a toy or a puzzle for him to open. So what I did was I took this box and I put some food in it. And then I put food into four of his uh, toys that actually... Um, are made for putting food in or not. Some of them aren't actually made for that, but they work for that. Um, and then I put those in the box. So not only does he have to open the box to get the food out, he also will have four of his different toys in there with food in them to get the food out of. I'm trying to come up with better and better ways for him to work on puzzles and stuff because he's so smart he's starting to get them very quickly if I just do the food in the in the puzzle toys so see how long it takes him to get this box open he's smart but he's not super smart because if you notice the part he had the paw on it's just it's not even taped or anything the top is just folded over so if he was super smart, he would just pop that open with his paw and open it up that way. So, you know, he is still a dog, obviously. <laughs> the only problem with this is the mess it makes. Because now there's cardboard all over the floor. But it is worth it to keep him entertained for ten minutes. I swear, a two-year-old German Shepherd is like having a toddler. They get into everything. They have a ton of energy. If, they, if you don't entertain them, they will entertain themselves and usually get into trouble. Hunter's favorite way of entertaining himself is spinning, grabbing his tail, and then trying to rip all the hair off of his tail, which is definitely not good for him. And then on top of that, just like a toddler, they test everything by putting it in their mouths. Some of the stuff he has thought about swallowing not good for his system. I can hear him biting some food, so he's figuring it out. He's got one of the toys out that releases food. You can see him working on it right there. This one's pretty easy. All he has to do is tip it and drop it a little bit, and he's figured out and it gives out food, so not a whole lot of smarts to that one. I need to get a better puzzle box feeder or something or other. <sighs> Oh, now he's got another one. And let's see him pull another one out. So we can get it out. <laughs> his head in the box. <laughs> Goofy. There you go. He got the ball out. That ball worked a lot better before the mice decided that they wanted the food inside the ball and ate all the little spikes off that kept the food in. We went away on vacation, and apparently we had a mouse or two in the basement, and they came up looking for food while nobody was here. I like this feeder. This one's a good one, because he has to push it around to get the food out. My favorite feeder, I'll show you, is right here. This is my favorite so far, because he has to pick it up, he has to roll it, and then it has a little hole in it. It kind of looks like Saturn. It gives out food. <laughs> Look at him. He's got his head in the box. Eating the food at the bottom that spilled out. <laughs> Hunter, what's in there? I can't see him now. I have to go around. To this side. There we go. <laughs> Are you getting every piece of food in there? You can see the other toys. So that red one there is actually made to put food in. That's what it, what it's actually made for. But that yellow one is actually just a um, half of a dumbbell squeaky toy. You rip the other ball off the end, and so now I just put food in it. And that green ball is the one I was talking about that um, used to have these little tabs that worked much better. But it doesn't have the tabs anymore because the mice chewed them off to get into the ball even though I don't think there was any food in it while we were gone. You getting all of it? Does anything have food left? I can hear it rolling around in there. 
Still working on the box, apparently. <laughs> Is there anything left in the box, huh? Is it all gone? So now that he's got it out of the box, now he just get, has to get it all out of all of these. You can hear the food rolling around in there. Is that it? You're not super hungry anyway because you had lunch not too long ago. Mm -hmm, she gets him out of there. I think that's his favorite toy too. I love this one because he just pushes it around on his with his nose. He's like, hey, get away from my food. That one's empty. Oh, you've got the green ball now. See what comes out of there. Sometimes instead of using his... Hey, don't do it for him. <laughs> that one's easy. Apparently these are um, good time <laughs> toys for uh, children also. <laughs> Maybe I should put some candy in one of them. Have you roll it around? <laughs> he does get a little possessive sometimes of his food and treats. So we have to be very careful of that because he has the potential to be a very dangerous dog. And we are trying to curb that. Unfortunately, since he's a rescue, he did come with some bad habits. And since he's come here, he's gotten some other bad habits. So. Hunter, sit. This is how Rachel works with him to get him used to her picking up his toys that have food in them. Because sometimes when she comes close to them, he growls at her. And we do not want that happening. So he has learned that whenever she touches his food toys, he gets treats. So good things happen when she's near his food and his treats. See, this is the one I was telling you about that I really like. It's my favorite so far because it has lasted the longest and been the hardest for him to get toys out. That green ball worked really well until the mice ruined it. This one... I love it, but he gets the treats out pretty quickly. The light green ball. All right, well, that's probably enough. He's just going to wander around until all of them have all the food out of them. So, cutie. <laughs>